I'm in a better mood already just talking to this woman. <laughs> we have with us today author and columnist Catherine Galasso Vigarito, author, as I just said, and columnist. Thank you for getting up with us this morning. Thank and you. um, you're talking about eight weeks to create an extraordinary life. Let's just start. Where Where is the beginning point for this? Because we do talk about renewal, especially in our lives. It can take some motivation. So mm -hmm. where should we begin? Well, we're going to begin today because it is spring. It's the season of renewal and new beginnings. Right. So we're going to wipe the slate clean. Maybe you made a mistake. You had some missed opportunities or a sure. setback. What we're going to do is, and you can do this at home as well, we're going to wipe the board clean. And then we're going to begin again. What does that do, do you think, Catherine, in, in, in that regard to um, literally taking the act, wiping it clean, and writing something down? Um, I think it, it, it just makes you release all of those things that are holding us back. We all have things that come up against us, but what we need to do is release them so we can make room for God to do new and amazing things in our lives. So um, now what we're going to do again, because it's a season of new beginnings, sure. we've, we've wiped the slate clean, we're going to begin anew, we're going to plant our dream. Okay. So, okay, let's put on all our right, gloves. All right, so i got to get my gloves yes, here. Yes, yes. And um, what we're going to do is we're planting calla lilies. Okay. So here's yours right over here on the right. side. Bold. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bulb mm -hmm. and we're going to plant it. Okay. Here we go, right in the soil. Good soil here, I can and, tell. Um, nice and as we're planting it, we're going to think of one specific dream that we would like to accomplish this year. Okay. So um, keep the keep the goals realistic. And well, keep the goals in mind that that you want, that you right. personally want in your life. And um, as we, you know, nurture our plant, here's sure. a little bit of Thank food, you. and I'm going to put the water. We're going to continue to nurture our dream and watch it come to fruition. And does that serve too, as it's slowly growing, kind of the inspiration as it's kind of taking life, taking shape? That should motivate you as well. That's correct. People can do this right at home. As you're planting your flowers this year and you watch them grow, watch your dreams, nurture them, see them come to life. But, you know, you have to work for them as well. Right. Visualize them. And, you know, as we have the perennial plants right here, remember that the plants were dormant all year long, right? right? Stepped on, uh, snow, sleet, <laughs> right. rain. Which we've had plenty look, of this year. <laughs> but they are rising again. And you can rise again, too, just as, um, as in nature. Um, as it's so important to begin again, to nurture our dreams, sure. to plant our dreams, it's also important to take care of our physical health. Most definitely. Okay. So one thing and that, that does a lot for your mental state as well. So Exercise is huge so. for that. So right. much so. And so one thing that I do is called the thankful walk. Right. So what you can do is, and a little tip, is schedule your exercise or your walk in your calendar, and you'll be more likely to stick with it. So what I like to do is I actually take a pen and a little paper with me on my right. little thankful walk, and as, as you're walking down your path, I made a simulated pathway. Sure. Think about all the things that you're thankful for. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my family. I'm right. blessed. I'm strong. Dreams could come true. All things are possible. And it, it kind of, you know, it builds you up. And we have so many things that come against us. Combat that with being thankful for all of the blessings that each one of us has each day. And I think what a walk does, I think sometimes when we think exercise, people think I've got to run 20 miles or lift a ton of weights. But it just a simple walk can kind of clear out the cobwebs get you a little exercise, and again, kind of get you in that right mental state where you can progress toward the goal that you want. Yes, you can walk around your neighborhood, walk around a track, you can mall walk, just keep moving. Of course, check with your doctor first. Right. 20 minutes, maybe, you know, every other day, 45 minutes, build up, but again, Program your mind to think about all the things that you're grateful for. And again, going hand in hand with exercise. Um, Is eating right. Yes. And as a busy mom of three, right. I'll tell you some of the things that I do. Okay. One thing is I always leave fresh fruit um, on display because right. I think that it, it just, you know, if it's there. They'll eat it. <laughs> correct. <sighs> we're going to eat it. Another thing, um, what I do is I, instead of ice cream, I get um, grapes and I just put them in a little plastic bag right. and you can freeze them and they're awesome. They and are. My wife does this. She yes, loves doing this. It's yes. fantastic. Now yes. you can do the same thing with bananas. So what you do is of course you know you're going to peel the banana right. and then you're going to put the popsicle stick in and then you're going to cover it with foil and then you're going to put it in the freezer as well. So again just some tips to
to just make you feel strong right. and happy now, and is, healthy. Is this okay, a tougher sell? I love this. Well, you know, it wasn't too pretty. Because this looks fantastic. Yes, this okay. is healthy. I get it. Well, this I just have to say because, again, as a busy mom, right. you know, with a lot of children, you're doing a lot of things. What I do is I just, I love these steamed vegetables, and I just put them in the microwave. It's five minutes. You can put chicken on them. You can put eggs. Right. And it's like a really, really healthy, you know, lunch or dinner. And there you go. And you know, and especially this time of year again, with all these steps that you just took us through, it, it does serve as inspiration and motivation because like you said, we're not stuck in the house anymore. And it does, the more active you are, the more participatory you are in this, the better you feel. It's a new season and make today and all of your tomorrows the best they can be because this is our life. Achieve your dreams. You can achieve them, so go for it. Okay, Catherine, thank you so much. Thank all you